Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's video, we'll be covering dosage calculations. Uh, to take a dosage calculation, usually we're always given the order and what's available or what's on hand or what the supply is of a medicine. In this case, we have an order of 125 milligram drug to be given to a patient and what's available is 250 milligram tablets. Now, there are about three different ways we could do this particular problem because we have milligrams and milligrams in our available substance, right? And so because we have the same dimension of a quality of weight, we can simply take what we have in our order and divide it directly with what's available. And in this method, we're taking the 125 milligrams and we're dividing that with the 250 milligrams and another note, since this is 250 milligrams in every tablet, this is also just 250 milligram tablets. And so we're dividing by the tabs. Now here we have the milligrams divided by the tabs as well. And from uh, fractions, we know whenever we're dividing with a fraction in a fraction, we use it as a multiplier and numerator. Now as far as the MGs go, these will reduce away and we're left with just 125 over 250 in tabs and this is going to reduce to one half so we see here that it's just one half tab using the first of our three methods now this is just called the order over available method and in the second method here we'll be exploring the dimensional analysis of the problem and to do the dimensional analysis we basically take our order put it over one that's 125 milligrams over 1 and we're going to multiply it with this conversion factor and to use this correctly what we want to do is take the dimension of what we have as an order and make sure it reduces out to 1 so when I'm setting up this fraction I want the milligrams to be my denominator and I'm going to put the tabs as the numerator because I'm trying to convert from milligrams to tabs and so we're going to just take the quantities of each and place them in the fractions and we see the 250 goes with the milligrams and the 1 goes with the tabs because there's no number there Whenever you don't see a number, it's clear that it's just the one. Now in this case, just like the last, the milligrams will be removed, and we have 125 times 1, which is 125, over 250, and this again is in tabs. And again, we've already seen that this becomes one half of a tab. We can also write this as a decimal of 0 0.5 tabs, all right? Now let's go on to the last form of doing this, which is direct proportions, right? And to do that, what we have to do is take our order and what's available, and since we know this is what's available, we can also say that 250 milligrams are equivalent to one tab, right? So if we want to figure out how many tabs we'll have to give a patient here, this would be our question mark, how many tabs, right? And we'll set these up as a direct proportions with the milligrams over milligrams and the tabs over the tabs, right? Each accordingly. So we could put the 250 mg. Actually, let's put the 125 first because we're solving for that amount first. So here we'll have 125 mg's are equivalent to how many tabs? And that's divided by 250 mg's over one tab. The terms will go away. Keep in mind we're solving for tabs though. And we have here the two fractions. We'll get 125 over 250 is equivalent to our x variable, which is what we're solving for, over 1. And since we already have x over 1, we know that this is just translating into x equals 125 over 250, which again is 1 over 2, or 0 0.5. And this X represents the number of tabs. And we're done. That's our solution, half a tab. 